What's good y'all, Wave Magnetic here, and today I'm gonna show you how I made my new track, Beauty. Uh, yeah, so if you haven't heard the track, it sounds like this. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna break it down for you. And uh, if you learn something new, make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you know the next time I have a new video. So here we go, we're gonna get into it. So when I first started the song, the very first thing I came up with was this guitar part right here, okay? Uh, it's just, I was trying to come up with something that was like really pretty and uh, this is what happened. <laughs> Yeah, so like uh, the dope thing about that is like I was just really trying to get something that was like really pretty and just really like set the emotion of just like it was almost like just like a it's kind of like a sad song. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to get something that really brought out that emotion. And uh, after I came up with that with that uh, guitar part, I actually came up with the trumpet melody. OK. And the trumpet melody by itself is here. I always double my horns, okay? This is the, the solo, this is the trumpet part right here, but all it is is two horns layered together. Okay, so basically I play that part twice right there, okay? And while that's going on, I start putting in uh, different parts because one of the main rules of uh, production is every four or eight measures, depending on uh, the song, how what the tempo is, you want to have some kind of change, okay? So first four, I had the guitar part come in. The next four, I had the trumpet part come in. And then the next four after that, I add a pad, which sounds like this. Again, it's just basically the same chords as uh, the guitar part, but instead of it being a melody with chords, it's just the pad, just with the chords themselves, okay? And with that, the uh, the trumpet and uh, everything is playing at the same time. And I think I even have some drums in here. So I got the drum melody here, but I actually filtered off the kick so that the kick will be a little bit more, um, just less energy in the kick so that it's just not it doesn't come the song doesn't just start being like super in your face like ah ah i'm hitting hard now nah, you know you, the song has to ebb and flow okay so check it out <laughs> Okay, so that right there is the drum part, that was the beat going on. And then I have a little white noise, again, every four measures. White noise, white noise, white noise, white noise, okay? Now this right here is the riser. So after that part, that's the next, that's the first eight measures of that, right, with the melody. So then the next part of the melody comes in and it's the horns, basically by themselves, uh, with some chords, check it out. So basically it does that two times. And the cool thing is that I have, I had already written the melody that I was gonna have on the drop. So what I did was I wanted to kind of hint at it, okay? So what I did was I had a trump, another set of trumpets, these two trumpets here, and I layered them on the melody for the drop, but I filtered them out, 
okay so so check this out right here You see, it's really cool. And when you put that in the context right behind everything, it just sneaks in there and gives you a taste of uh, of the melody before it comes in. And you kind of, it's like, it tickles the ear. Like, what is that in the background? You see what I mean? So it's in the background. You not you hear it, but you're like, okay. But you hear the other layered horns that really give you, like, okay, this is the thing, right? So then we go into the we go into the drop right here, and it's big, but not too big. Right, so you know, I got regular drums. It's almost like some uh, feature bass type drums or whatever. You know, what I mean, you get the beat. And uh, you know, I got 808 going on right here. It just sounds like this. So those chords, that the bass part right there is literally again line the bass up with the kick drum right here okay so we got a kick right here and the bass starts right here bass right here kick right here okay line the kick and the bass up together that's how your song is going to groove okay so um we got that going for a bit and then we want to increase the energy for the second half of this drop right here check it out So basically to do that, all I did was play the melody of the octave and that was it. All I added was the main melody, an octave higher on the trumpets. Remember, the horns, everything is double, okay? Two horns on every part. And this is a pretty cool sound right here. This pad right here, I actually created this pad with my voice. I literally went into the, um, I recorded myself just saying, Ah, and I put it in Ableton Simpler, and it turned it into this right here. It was just it's pretty cool. Listen. Pretty simple, right? <laughs> it's cool. Sometimes it's really cool just to make your own sounds, just record some stuff, put it in a simpler and see what it does. Sometimes it works out pretty cool. And uh, so yeah, that's going on all at the same time. And I have uh, the guitar, the guitar is actually playing the chords here. And I actually have the guitar going through my uh, my WM guitar um, uh, uh, preset. Uh, the Ableton effects rack preset it actually turns out pretty cool I, I like the way this is sounding so this is what the guitar sounds like so in this instance I'm just literally just playing the chords right there it just fills it out just to fill up all the frequencies okay so I got that Ah, pad going on and then I have guitar so it's like guitar you can play chords you can have melodies guitar is a very versatile instrument so after that drop right there we go back into the verse okay and I bring the that organ pad back in and I, I actually flip it so first time around starts with uh, the guitar pad I mean starts with the guitar part right and I have the the horns
right? So then the second time around, I flip it where I have the pad with the horns instead. And then the guitar. Right? Sometimes it's really cool. You don't even, you don't got it. This isn't rocket science, y'all. You can literally just like do one thing in the beginning. You say, I had the guitar first, then the pad with the horns. Then the second verse, it's the same exact melody. All I did was make the pad first and then bring in the guitar and it sounds different you know you it pushes the song along okay so it's not even that complicated then it's the exact same thing over here we got the the breakdown and then we have our build up which is just there's some white noise going on Okay, and then I have this riser that I made in uh, Serum. Really simple, right? I mean, it's literally it sounds like Mario Brothers, it's whatever. I mean, it's just like a square, a square, um, what is it? Uh, it's just a square wave that I have pitched up. It's just going up and that's it. it goes up over four measures. It's simple. Okay. So after that, we go back into the drop. Now this time, the second time at the drop, I start with the second half of the drop. So you see, it's not everything full in, right? First time I didn't have the pad in there, then I didn't have the really high trumpets, right? Now the second drop, I this I already shows you where it was going with it when it comes to being like super full. I put it in super full right at the beginning of the second drop. Blow, okay? Now, what am I gonna do to make it different now, okay? So this time around, I actually just change it i do a um as i guess you could say i do like an outro okay so now i make a totally different melody okay the the uh the drums have been going at like half time the whole time right so now i'm going to make the drums go double time on the hi-hats right listen to these drums coming up right here Right? Double time on the hi-hats. It's almost the same rhythm, sort of, uh, with the kick and the snare, but I just got double time on the hi-hats like that, right? So that is, is, it's in your face now, right? So now, I'm gonna add this bass in here. We're gonna change the bass up. It's actually a different bass sound. That one is more like a square wave. The other one was more like a sawtooth wave that I met, ch chopped up and everything, right? Now, the guitar. Same thing as it always has been, right? I didn't change the chords or anything, right? Now, here's something that's different. I changed the pad. So before it was the ah, uh, pad that I sampled for my voice. Now this is a sawtooth pad, and I think this one has uh, the pumper on it. Let's see. So I have that going on at eighth notes. Um, the the pumper is uh, that's the one knot pumper from Waves. And uh, that one right there is pretty cool. It gets you, sometimes it's cool to put 
uh, some kind of volume shaper on your pads because they usually are just sitting there like, ah, right? Not really doing anything, just kind of filling up space. But sometimes if you add a rhythm to it, it keeps the song moving forward. Again, remember this is this is like dance music. So sometimes putting a volume shaper on that, creating that rhythm really helps push the song along, okay? And now I bring the horns in and it just changes up the whole vibe. And just so you get a get an inkling in right here, here are the parts, okay? So the horns, the top horns. Here's the horns right underneath it. Right? Now, here are the horns underneath that. Right? And then I have trombone right here. And the last part right here is the bottom trombones. And again in the context. And that's pretty much it. That right there is how I produced the song Beauty. Again, if you learned something new, uh, you like what you heard, hit the subscribe button below, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace!